Hey, what is up? Murray and J08 is back with a new episode of Retro Gaming Rewind. And if you hear that, that's Mario in the background. Not Super Mario, but he's named after him. He could jump pretty high. That's my Jack Russell. He's uh, He sees my box turtle, Bowser. Well, how do you like that? See Mario versus Bowser. That's pretty much what's, what's going on out there. Sheer chaos. Um, this is a quick episode that I'm doing. It's to talk about my impressions and review um, on the Game & Watch, the two recent Game & Watch handheld systems by Nintendo. The Super Mario Brothers Game & Watch and The Legend of Zelda, both for the anniversaries. And another thing I want to show off is these cool cases that I got, these third-party cases that I got from Amazon, which is cool, is that this case here, I have the one in, and the other one I have, and they're fairly priced, too, and they're nice and protective, because I said, you know what? I don't want to keep them in the box. They do have a really cool uh, box where you could actually display the alarm clock, but I kept the boxes. And then this red one for the Mario Brothers. They're, they had a green one, too, for Zelda, but at the time, it was out of stock, so I got the black. But here's the red one. It's pretty nice. I'm going to show you. We'll open it up. So, I don't know if you guys saw these. I did an unboxing. What's nice is it keeps the, um, the cables, the charging cables, and the system itself. So, these were pretty hard to get for a while. So I said, instead of waiting, get them for the game room. Get them for the collection, the ongoing handheld collection. I've been on a retro handheld kick. Um, as you know, I got the uh, Miu, Miu Mini. I'm going to actually turn this on. Oh, it saved my, my save state. It's on pause. <laughs> so there you go. There's the... Um, the Super Mario Brothers edition. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> got the awesome music there. It's got a really nice uh, layout. Sure, it's small. It's tiny, but that's the whole point of it. Um, I could see everything, and I got bad eyes. Um... The control pad, the D-pad is really nice. And I'll tell you what games come on it. It's a pre it's pretty neat. I actually really like them. The graphics... I'll tell you something. The screens are really nice on these. Um, the screens are actually really nice on these. You could, um, you could do the volume. You could do the uh, brightness. You could reset the game. You could go back to the game menu. The game menu is always there. Um, you have the uh, original, you have the, the game Ball is on there, the black and white game Ball. You have Super Mario Brothers, and then you have Super Mario Brothers 2. Kind of a bummer, you know, don't have Super Mario Brothers 3, but I got that on my Miu Mini now. And of course, I got it, you know, on, on the Switch, uh, Nintendo Live, but now I, it's nice because I can play it offline with my uh, Miu Mini. That and a thousand other games. But that's what you get with the Super Mario Brothers. And then, of course, you have the time. See, I don't know how well this is showing up. If I tilt it to the side, you could see it. See it? Um, pretty neat. Pretty cool. And it's got the little sound effects. I like these. Now, I was having a discussion with somebody the other day. I turned this off. I'll show you the Zelda one. Um, if they're going to get on this kick, and I know it's a moneymaker, so why wouldn't they? It's going to be the Kirby anniversary. So I'm wondering if they're going to come out with these with like Kirby's Dream Land. Oh, one of my favorites. The old original Kirby games. And come out with like a pink one. How cool would that be? So that would be my guess for the next game and watch. And of course, you have the old original Game & Watches. If you guys collect them, I am on a hunt for a lot of them. 
So yeah, these cases worked out. There's a couple different, if you go on Amazon and you type in Game & Watch cases, you will come across a couple different ones. So let's see what's on this one. So this is the Zelda one. I like this one a lot. You can also get the European imported ones too. They're pretty much exactly the same, but the packaging is 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 a, a little different. And as you can see, here's the layout for Zelda. It's got that green. There's the clock. It's got that little beep. Oh, hear it? With that classic Zelda. And then we have games. So in this one, we have Zelda, The Legend of Zelda. We have The, Leg the um, Adventure of Link. We have a timer. So the menu of this one is a little bit different. Let's see. All right, we have The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. We have The Adventures of Link. And we have the original Legend of Zelda. And then we have the timer option. And then we also have the Vermin Game & Watch. Like how you have Ball on Mario. You have the original Game & Watch game. I'll show you... Which one? Uh, Venture of Link? I'm trying to show it to you without glare. Get an idea of it. The nice little Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. So there you go. You have that. Show you some gameplay. At least the screen. <laughs> Again, no link to the past. But I got that on my Miu Mini. And I will be showing footage of the Miu Mini. Uh, select a bunch of games, so stay tuned for that. It'll probably be on this show, but I'll hand I'll record it off my phone so you can really see the screen. What else we got on here? I'll show you the uh, Legend of Zelda. Sound, everything is perfect. I mean, the screen is... I just can't get over the screens on these. Here's the... Here's the... Um, Link's Awakening. Look at that. Look at the animations. I know it's hard to see on here, but... It's pretty intense. Alright, so what do I think? The... The... the, the um. I'm just trying to see here what else to talk about. You got the power button. You got the cable button here. Start, select, game, time, pause, set, A and B, the D-pad. That's pretty much it. What What is my final verdict on these? I think they're awesome, especially for the price. Um, get them while they're hot, while they're available. I mean, I don't know how long they're going to make these things. They're supposed to be limited, right? Um, I'm sure when the next one comes out, it'll be hard to get for a while. Thank God for Amazon, because eBay's ridiculous. Um, you can get nice accessories for them. Like I said, these cases are really cool. So if you want to protect your investment, um, you don't want to keep them in the box. But I, I did keep the boxes, though, just not to store them. Um, they do have different colored ones. They do have different branded ones. You just got to look. And they're kind of neat. They're kind of fun. They're kind of nostalgic. Now, I do have all these games, of course, on my MiU Mini. So if I really want to play them, I'll play them on there. But the Game & Watches are definitely cool collectibles. I like them. I think they're kind of neat. I am waiting for that Kirby one. I'm trying to think what else they could do. You know what would be cool? 
Like, just do, like, just random ones. Like, uh, it doesn't have to be an anniversary. Like, I would like to see a Mega Man one. I'd like to see a Donkey Kong one. I'd like to see... What else would be cool? I'm trying to think of which ones would go with the Game & Watch. Yeah, Donkey Kong. Mega Man. Maybe a Double Dragon. I don't know, you know. A, a Tetris one. That'd be kind of cool. Something that would work with the little handheld. Thanks, guys. I want you to check them out. Tell me if you own any of the Game & Watches, if you're planning on getting them. And um, if you're into handhelds or if you're into collecting handhelds, especially retro stuff. Take care, guys. I'll be seeing you on the next Retro Gaming Show. Be well. Be safe.